leave meeting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is uh, Jens. This is me. And uh, I'm here with uh, Stefan from Miami and Dustin from Wuppertal. <laughs> <laughs> Would you okay. like to record? With the record, yeah. No, no, one take. Okay, and uh, yeah, today we announce the 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 private alpha of Wondergraph Cloud, and we want to show you the the hand picked testers, how they can test, what you can do, how it works, and everything. So I will share my screen, and we will start from the uh, Wondergraph GitHub org. So you can see here we've created a new repo that's dedicated uh, for trying out cloud because there are some limitations on how you can use it. So just use this cloud starter and then everything should work fine. So I go to this cloud starter and the first step is that you fork it. So you say here, make it a new fork. And then I just name this wonder graph cloud starter, uh, copy the main branch. We just have this one. Okay, now I have my fork because I want to do some commits so that we can see a couple of changes. Here's also some instructions on how to run this locally. We will start with this in a minute. Okay, so now I have this fork. Next step is I go to cloud.wondergraph.com. And I guess if we do uh, this, you should probably see enter waitlist or something similar. And then Stefan will allow you in. Just hit Stefan on the, on the Discord channel and he will let you in. So I do the login with GitHub. Once you're in the, in the waitlist, then you can, uh, yeah, then you can access the dashboard. Okay, we create a new project, continue with GitHub. I just say all repositories that synchronizes your repos. And now if we refresh this page, we should see the latest one being Wondergraph Cloud Starter. And I just, because the API we're using has something to do with weather, I just call this thing weather. So this takes about a minute to deploy to our serverless platform. And while we're doing that, we can start cloning this locally. So we say git clone and there we go. And then we can use Goland or whatever you like. Da, da, da. Wondergraph cloud starter. And then we can follow the instructions to set this up. Let me just kill everything on 991 and 2 because I sometimes debug some stuff. So we do npmi. And then npm start. And that should give us our local instance. So this is a local uh, Wondergraph project. It has a dependency on this weather GraphQL API. We have one operation here that gives us weather for a city. And that should generate some code. So I think we should be good here. Sometimes it takes a moment until this uh, loads up the generated folder. Is everything going fine here? Okay, you see my ID just takes some time and then it picks up the auto completion. Okay, so now we have auto completion. You can see the operation here is weather. And if I open my terminal and do like a curl, HTTP colon slash slash local host 9091 app main operations weather and then city Berlin. And I think I need to put this like that. And we can prettify it with JQ. Yeah, you see, we have the weather for Berlin. It's kind of cold here in Germany. Okay, so we have everything running locally. Now let's check out what's happening in the cloud. So this project is deployed. I can check this out here, weather, wonder graph dev. 
Let's see if DNS is already propagated. Looks like that. So we can now take this and go to uh, here. And I think this is weather. And then you should see the same as in our local environment. So we get the weather for Berlin. I've prepared that with Postman. And uh, just to go through a bunch of basic things. So here you can see the deployments. The initial deployment, it took one minute, 12 seconds. Here you can see the, um, the commit settings. We can delete the project. And now we want to make like a little change. So the first thing we could do is, for example, if we remove this stuff here and comment in the coordinates, give it some formatting. Now we would also have the latitude and longitude from our city. So if I save this and go to my terminal, run it again, you can see that now we have the coordinates of uh, Berlin. And if we change this to uh, my what hometown, time? for example, you see it's a bit warmer. And now let's try this out with Miami because that's where Stefan is from. Really? It's pretty yeah, it's kind of cool. Today. 38. It's like summer. Yeah, it's kind of cool today, actually. <laughs> <laughs> OK, good. So we've made a change. We added the coordinates. So we can make a commit at coordinates. And we push this. And if you now go to our dashboard, you see it's immediately building. And our build pipeline is extremely fast because we have a dedicated uh, machine for each project to build this. And uh, don't worry, this machine is going to sleep most of the time. So it's not like crazy expensive. And that took 19 seconds. So let's try this out. So now you see we have the coordinates here. Excellent. So our API is now uh, changed. And to round this off, one more thing we could do is, for example, currently, you can see that the country code is uh, uppercase. And let's just add some code to make this lowercase, uh, just to give you an idea of how simple it is to add like a little middleware snippet to change the behavior of our server, because you can customize uh, WonderGov with TypeScript. Uh, so we go here to our uh, WonderGraph server TS, and we can say, okay, let's add a mutating, mutating post resolve hook. And then we return the existing data. Uh, hook, what do we have? Response. Okay, and then we can say, here we have data. City by name is the operation. Da, da, da. And then you can see here is the country field. And we want to make this lowercase. So let's tell Copilot to make this lowercase, make country lowercase. Then I don't have to type it. And that should do it. So if I save this and go to my terminal, you should now see here for Miami, US is now lowercase. And then we make this commit. We say set country code to lower case. We make the change. And then you see our third commit is being deployed. I think it takes a bit longer because now it has to build not just uh, the GraphQL API, but also it needs to change the the Fastify hook server. So we have a sidecar Fastify hook server. OK, 19 seconds. So that was also quite fast. And now we should see here lowercase de. Let's try this with Miami. That works as well. So yeah, that's WonderGraph Cloud. That's what you can try out. So go to, um, go to WonderGraph on GitHub and check out the Cloud Starter repo. You can fork this 
And then you can make changes to your own repo locally and in the cloud. Once you commit, we auto deploy that. And if you think you're done with your stuff or you don't need that anymore, you can just delete your project and uh, we're done. So for the next steps, so that's the initial version. I think that's as MVP as it can get. The next step will be, we want to add uh, more logging. So that means currently you, you cannot really look into the build pipeline when something goes wrong during the build and you don't have insights at runtime when, yeah, when your app is deployed, you might want to see some, some logging info. So that's step one. Then obviously it doesn't really make sense if you want to integrate APIs, you need secrets uh, because you, you will probably not just put your, your API keys and credentials in plain text or in your Git repo, like that's a bad practice. So that's also a key feature uh, we are working on. And then we want to add some additional analytics so that you get insights into, okay, what, what operations exist on my, on my API, what origin exists, what are the latencies uh, between client to the edge and then from edge to the gateway and then from gateway to the origin so that you can really introspect in, in detail uh, how the traffic is flowing and where you can optimize. And um, yeah, that's the first couple of step, uh, steps. Did I forget anything or do you want to add anything? Any questions, Stefan, Dustin? No, oh, I think you hit everything. Um, I'm gonna be posting also the instructions in our Discord. Um, there is a, a feedback channel. It's called Alpha Feedback. So post all any feedback, any bugs that you find in there on the Discord. But uh, no, super excited to see what everybody builds with Wondergraph. All right. Awesome. Then have a great weekend. And yeah, we are looking forward to to hearing your your thoughts and then figuring out the edge cases that you run into. So cool. Thanks everybody for participating in the alpha and then uh, hope to see you on the discord ciao ciao bye bye, bye guys